Hello and welcome. We are here at Rhoda Golf, here to bring you another bargain property. It's fantastic value for money. It's a very, very, very beautiful sunny day over here in Spain. I'll just turn my camera around and we will go inside and have a look. Okay, we are outside the property now. So as you can see, it's very well, very well cared for. It's uh, really clean. Just take a little glimpse on the outside. On the other side, you can see it's really clean and quite, really quite nice. Right, so we'll just venture on inside the property. This is a two bedroom, one bathroom property. Well, in fact, sorry, it's two bedroom, one bathroom on the top floor. And you've also got a small toilet area just here. I'll just stand a bit back so you can see it all. So it's good size. Obviously, it's just a small sort of WC. Some basin and lavatory. So you've got the front door obviously just to my right now walking into the living space just to my left here you will see the kitchen area the kitchen area obviously needs a bit of TLC nothing too drastic but just a bit of TLC and white goods just outside here you've got your outside area where you can house your washing machine it's really really good to house your washing machine on the outside and along with your boiler on the outside in a ventilated space it reduces the humidity so uh, really good for air quality to keep that on the outside so as you can see you've got the space here for a fridge freezer then you've got your sink you have your oven and your well, well, where would be a hob? Obviously it needs a hob. And your extractor fan there. You've got your serving hatch just here, which a lot of people still like and use. Then coming out of the kitchen space, we've got space for maybe table and chairs, dining area, which is just here. And if I kind of show you from here, the sort of general layout you can see the living space just where the rectangle is on the floor which I think is actually quite a nice detail so we'll walk into the living space now it's a good sized living area you can easily fit a three-piece settee and maybe a couple of armchairs in here as well most people want to keep it quite light and quite soft looking so they may not decide to add too much in we'll just try and go outside here we can't lift the shutters up on this particular one this is electric shutters and there is uh, no electric on this property at the moment so we'll just try and venture on outside so you can have a look so outside leads directly onto your parking area some steps going down so again, just really nice, really well maintained and cared for, as you can see. We'll just actually go right the way out, just so you can sort of see just how quiet and how relaxing it is. It's a very warm day today, but it's got a lovely breeze. But, uh, as you can see, it's not, by any sense of the word, congested. All the properties are relatively spaced out, relatively well spaced out. Okay, we're now back into the property. So one thing you will need to consider is air conditioning. It's a central ducting system. So you don't have the, uh, the units everywhere like you do in some properties. Some people don't mind it. Some people prefer to have more of a seamless look. You've got a uh, under the stairs cupboard. It's uh, good for storage. You could probably put a heavy duty lock on the door so that if, for instance, you wanted to rent the property out and have the rest 
of the property accessible and keep your own personal belongings in that cupboard, you could. Going up then onto the next floor up, to the first floor of the duplex unit, you've got bedroom number one. So we'll just show you bedroom number one here. Okay, let's wait for my camera to focus. There we go. So we'll just have a look outside. Okay, and that actually leads out onto the front of the property. So you've got space enough for two single beds or a double bed with a couple of bedside cabinets. Has got fitted wardrobes as well. Show you just behind this door. Fitted wardrobes are here. So adequate space for belongings, especially if you're using this as a rental vehicle. Then have your bathroom. So you've got your sink, your lavatory, and also your bath. Does need shower screen or shower curtain. Needs a little bit of TLC, a bit of a clean, but uh, other than that, it's good to go. This is actually a bank repossession property, hence why it's in the condition it's in. This room would be considered the master bedroom. It's a lot, just a little bit bigger than the than the last bedroom, and it has that small sort of nook in there as well, which makes the wardrobe space a little bit more accessible. Let's go and have a look at that. Got uh, your wardrobe space there. Plenty of it. And then that looks down onto the grounds. And this property also has a small terrace area as well. A little bit bigger than a Juliet balcony, but uh, maybe enough space for a table and chairs. So it's got some really nice grounds if you wanted to experience the outside. So this is the master bedroom. Then it's split by the bathroom. And then you have the second bedroom there. And that's it for this floor. Nice large windows actually on the corridor on the way up. Lets a lot of natural light into the property. And this house is very, very well built. There is no air conditioning on at the moment, but it's it's a very, very cool feel to the house. It doesn't feel warm at all. So as I mentioned, it does need a bit of TLC, things like uh, your air conditioning needs to be connected, your security needs to be connected, security alarm, a bit of a clean, maybe a repaint, your light fittings, shower screen, and obviously your furnishings, but still, has enough room for scope with regards to rentals, to put your own personal stamp on the property. I think it's a, it's a very, very good property for the money. So we'll just go back down the stairs and head on out. So just through the steps here, you've got a gap in the wall so you can See the living space, and then we've got a small sort of dining area here. You can just imagine if you're serving there through the serving hatch. You probably have a small sort of table and chairs, maybe a circular table, four chairs. Probably be enough space here for a sofa, maybe a, an armchair or two. Most people have their TV and their audio equipment onto, mounted onto the wall to save space. And all your power points and your connections are there to do so. Electric shutters on this property as well. Well, on a lot of the shutters. This one here is manual. 
but rather than having the cords which you would pull out, you have this handle which you would just twist. So that makes things very, very easy to, uh, to obviously wind your shutters down. But let's, uh, a lot of natural light is in, and I say, you know, if you open up the back and you open up the front door, there's a natural current of air which just allows the property to cool down naturally. So that's property number one. We'll now show you property number two. Okay, here we are on the entrance of property number two. So on the pond entrance of the property, it's got a very similar feel to the first, although this one is a little bit bigger. So you'll see you have the shower room, which is downstairs. So you've got a shower, toilet, and then obviously you've got your sink just there. And it's really, really nice in terms of the finish around, the, especially around the sink area. It gives it that kind of luxury hotel vanity feel. Now let's have a look in through this cupboard here. Let's just see. Yes, so we've got the storage area, which is just obviously for your personal belongings and hoover, broom, ironing board, things of that nature, which you don't want on, on display. But like the other property, if you wanted to possibly have that for your own personal storage whilst you then rent out the rest of the property then that could be an option as well so walking into the property this is my favorite of the of the two uh, in fact we've got three available at the moment but uh, started from a hundred thousand euros as you may have seen pop up but um, this one is the most expensive out of the three and 130,000 euros. But in here, you've got your kitchen area. Very, again, very similar layout to the, to the first property, where you have your boiler, which would house your washing machine, just for the conditions of uh, damp and moisture. It's always nice to have your washing machine on the outside. And also, if you want to dry any clothes, if anyone's dried clothes in direct sunlight, you can see that sometimes it gets bleached and it leaves horrible yellow stains on your clothes. So to have it covered in the shade, but ventilated, it's the best of both worlds. So you've got space for your fridge freezer. Just leave a small cupboard on top. Space for a dishwasher. A slimline dishwasher can easily fit there. Then you've got your hob and your oven space. With your extractor fan here. And again, your serving hatch. We've got these folding doors that just save a little bit of space, which is quite nice to have. It might be something you may want to even remove and kind of just open out the kitchen a little bit more. You may not necessarily need a door there. This property has gas, central heating throughout. You have your roller shutter here. Nice window, nice large window to let lots of natural light in. Nice large window here in the living space. You've then got your rectangle on the floor. I quite like that detail, I really do. 
but enough space again where I'm especially where I'm standing now you could easily have a settee here with a nice TV sort of mounted on the wall going out through the back of the property leads onto the communal area so this is where you would obviously have your table and chairs you can enjoy the the ambience of the of the local area of the uh, swimming pool and the pool area is quite nice I won't uh, show too much because we do have holiday makers here so I don't want to uh, infringe on their privacy by recording them but uh, you can see the parking of the grounds which are out there you can probably hear the holiday makers <laughs> enjoying their time which is good so going back into the property now Again, going back into the living space. It's a duplex, similar to the other one. So we'll just go upstairs and show you the rest of the property. Okay, going into the second of the two bathrooms. This one actually has a bath, which is quite nice that you've got a shower downstairs and a bath upstairs with a shower screen. So as you can see, this property is a little bit more expensive, but it's a little bit bigger and it doesn't need as much modernization or as much doing to it. You've then got the first of two bedrooms. This property doesn't have electronic shutters. They're all on using manual winder. Then got like a, your Juliet balcony overlooks onto the communal area which we were just walking along and your wardrobe space which is again similar to the other wardrobe space in the first property okay and that goes right behind the door let me just move the door out of the way so you can see just how much storage there is and I'll open the doors up as well. There you go. Okay. 24 hour security on this complex as well, which is really reassuring. So you know your property is going to be well looked after in your absence. So, passing the upstairs bathroom again then going in to the master bedroom so it's a slightly bigger terrace and has views of the pool as you can see again this is also a bank repossession as well So it does need a little bit of smartening up, but nothing too drastic, nothing structural, just really a matter of putting your own stamp on the property. Then got your cupboard space here, similar again to the first, where you've got your small nook, where you've got your wardrobe space here. And then that leads out onto this private terrace area here, which is quite nice as well. And there is just a lovely natural breeze when you open the windows and the doors which actually keeps the property relatively cool without the use of air conditioning so again just show you the views of the property on the outside the uh, communal area facing the back of the property but there's plenty of parking there isn't sort of underground parking but there's plenty of off-street parking Okay, so that concludes the first floor. We'll now head back downstairs. So, directly onto the kitchen. We've then got your living space. I mean, the great thing about this property is that you've got central heating you've got the great views of the pool 
you know, so if anybody is thinking about this and they have kids, then uh, you know, you've got uh, access to the pool, they can run to and from the pool no problem at all and you can just keep an eye on them from your terrace area. You can have a living bed, a living bed, that's an interesting one. You can have a sofa space in the living area, which would make this, you know, quite comfortably being able to sleep up to six people. And then we go back through into the main door. Okay, so we're walking now in the sort of where well, the road sort of leads from outside into the urbanization. Again, just thought I'll show you just how well kept and how clean this urbanization is. Lovely natural grass, lovely foliage, really gives you that holiday feel. Look at the style of build, you'll find it's uh, probably synonymous to what you would expect Spain to offer if you've been elsewhere. Maybe the Costa del Sol. There's the entrance to the pool area. Just to the left here. And you can see it's actually busy. People are playing music and it's got a very nice, very nice atmosphere. We have another pool area here. And you can see the, uh, the style of the properties but all around. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea in terms of the properties and the, the layout of the units available. I would urge anyone interested to drop me a line to arrange a viewing at the prices there currently are. They're not going to be around for very much longer. But thank you so much all and I look forward to speaking with you all soon. Take care.